Okay, welcome back. We are at the Halaba Correctional Facility in Halaba Valley, which is located in Aia, Hawaii. This is located the central part of the island. This is one of the many prisons that we have on this island. And we have a tower off in the distance right here. And then we have another tower. Kind of blocked by trees, but off in the distance over here. Double fence. Okay, we're gonna head on down this way a little farther. Okay, right here we have one of the guard shacks. Uh, somebody is already at the doorway looking at me. Okay, this is one of the entrances we'll turn in right here to go up to that guard shack right there. And turn in just like that car just did. The so guard's already curious. Already looking. Come out and open the gate for that guy to go in. at me and here he comes okay turning on the body cam okay sorry I'm okay. What are you doing? Sorry? What are you doing? Um, taking pictures. Why? Because I have a camera. That's what you do with a camera. What are you taking the pictures for? Well, normally I don't say, but I'll go ahead and let you know. I'm an investigative journalist. I'm gathering content for a story that I'm doing. For a story that you're working on? Yes. And what story is that? I'm not going to say any farther on it. Private property. Can't be over no. Can't be that is private property. This is public property. Sorry, I forgot I was zoomed in there. carry on with my filming. So as you can see here, this is what's called Halaba Valley. So you have this mountain here comes all the way around the back side of it. This sits tucked right back up into the mountain there. So if anybody were to try to escape from here, they would have to climb up those almost sheer faces there. Uh, they're not going to go out that way. They're going to end up coming out through this.
this road, which is the only way into it. So, as you can see, just from what we're able to see right here, this is nothing like the Halaba Correctional Facility that they are using on TV. This doesn't look anything like what they're using on Hawaii Five-O. Okay, coming down a little farther. Okay, here's a little better shot of the tower. gatehouse down here and the other gate is already called down so he's down here waiting on me just as I top the hill back there he was standing here at the door hands on his hips staring up the hill from his one right here how you doing sir how are you uh, just, just gotta ask just because it's a prison. Ah. I'm an investigative journalist gathering content for a story. We're not going to be coming on your property. We're staying. Oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. I just want to make sure we're, we're, not, we're not like uh, we're not planning a breakout. Oh or nothing, no, right? no, nothing like that. <laughs> investigative journalist for um, what company? For who? Or, uh, or that I'm not allowed to say yet. We're doing a story on the prisons here in Hawaii. Okay. So we are part of. A new service from the mainland. We're doing story on the Hawaii prison system. Okay, so I don't need to worry about somebody. Oh no. 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 <laughs> Actually, if somebody escapes, I'm gonna be the first one to call in on them. <laughs> okay. 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 So, I was saying. You got the mountains here, it's all the way around the outside. That's doing a full circle all the way back around, behind, and back out this other side. So it's actually a very good place to build a prison. This is one of the better locations on the whole island. best locations on the island. Let's go down a little farther. Okay, not sure why we are nowhere near Pearl Harbor or Hickam Air Force Base, but for some reason here at Halava Correctional Facility, we have a joint base police vehicle sitting over here hiding back up in here at the prison. Looks like he's sitting in the truck. It's hard to tell. Looks like there's somebody sitting in it. Okay, so this is the main gate here. Lava Correctional Facility. This will be your main entrance right here.
standpoint of prisons across the country, this is actually a fairly small prison. It's not really that large. There are a lot of prisons across the country that are quite a bit larger than Palava. Hi. Hi. My name is Lieutenant Lee. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. What are you up to? Um, investigative journalist gathering content for a story. Right now, is getting some B-roll footage the outside of the prison from public, the public access ways. Okay, but you cannot be filming over. You can film from here. But if you're going into secured areas... I'm not in secured areas. No, you're filming into secured areas. I can film into, I just can't be inside when I film. Now, you what have I, ID? Yes, I do, but I'm not showing it. You're not showing it? What I can't film is what's behind these walls, because I can't see it. If yeah. I can see it from a public sidewalk, I can film it. What I can't film is what I can't see. So anything that's behind a wall, we can't film. If it's out in public view, it can be filmed. That's the First Amendment. You don't want to identify yourself? No, I don't. We never do. Have I committed a crime? I didn't say you did. That's the only time I'll identify myself. That's the only time I'm required to identify yourself. Well, I don't want to film sensitive areas where, you know, you're I'm, not, I'm already finished over there. You're not identifying yourself? I have identified myself as an investigative journalist. That's all I'm required to identify. And I will show you that I do have press pass, but I'm not letting you see my name. 
because I'm not required to unless I've committed a crime and I'm being arrested. Well, no, no one's yes, you committed a crime. But and that's the thing is, we need to keep this area secured. Right. I don't know who you are. I don't know if you know you're planning an escape or what. Oh, so I, saw, I spoke with one of your captains a little while ago. Okay. Uh, told him if, no, but it if was I did right see, if he was on that side now. Right. You're coming over here, and my gate guards are calling me. Well, I'm just on the sidewalk right here. Not going anywhere that there's not a public sidewalk. So that's why I didn't cross over down there to come up because down at that end there's no sidewalk. So I waited, come up here, cross over where I could get these shots the side of the buildings here, mm -hmm. and then crossing back over. You're filming in the buildings? Not in the buildings, down the side view of the walls. So what what I actually got, see how the windows stick open like this here? What I did was come back over here where I'm looking side view down the wall with the, the canopied windows hanging open. Are you looking for anything in particular? Just getting shots of the, the prison. This particular one, the reason they sent me over on this one is because Hawaii Five-0. They supposedly use Halava Correctional Facility on there, but they're not. <laughs> so we're sh just showing people what the prison actually looks like versus what they think it looks like on the show. To show that it's nothing well, like... Wouldn't it be easier to get yeah, approval from the director or the governor? That way you can get access, you know? Well, we're actually going to be doing a more in-depth story later where we are going to be getting approval because we're going to be coming inside the prisons to do some of the shooting. Uh, we did stories on two different prison systems over on the main one. This, we don't have to have permission because we're outside. Once we come inside... It would be much easier where I don't have to be out here. You know, I don't want you to think I'm out here harassing you. Where, you know, <laughs> We're just doing our job. We're checking who's over here. No. You know. See where, where I'm coming from? Yeah. I understand where you're coming from. I just want you to know where I'm coming from. Now. Well, the reason we're doing this right now, the, this particular visit over here, was to see how harassing you guys were going to be. If you guys were going to honor our First Amendment rights to photograph from and what, public. What, what's your take on that? You're passing. <laughs> Every other prison that we have done this at, this is what we call a First Amendment audit, is mm -hmm. what we're actually doing here. Every other prison that we've actually done this at, the guards come out, you can't shoot in the prisons, you can't film anywhere over here, we're going to arrest you, we're going to hold you for the police to come. We don't have arresting powers. I mean, powers. yeah. <laughs> they don't either, they think they do. <laughs> That's what we run That's into. That's why when you ask me if you're breaking the law, I can tell you if you're breaking the law. Yeah. I don't have the worst powers. <laughs>I go by RC. That's my initials. That's what everybody okay. calls me by. <laughs> that way we can just put, you know, RC was out here no. filming. I will, yeah. I'll go a step further. You'll actually be able to see a video. What I've shot will be uploaded on the video. It will be listed as no a... No staff's on it, right? Just you since you approached me. Okay, I, I don't want to be filmed. Okay. What we're showing on the video is that you guys are doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. So you are you are approaching us, checking us out, just seeing that we aren't doing anything wrong. And now if the ones that come out and try to harass us, try to um, intimidate us, threaten to arrest, all that, we make fools of them online. <laughs> when we post them on there, we make fools of them. Okay. And then you, they... I'm, those I'm requesting not to be posted. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I'm a very private person. Okay. I don't like to be on the news. <laughs> okay. That's one of the issues that's coming up right now. Um, we are having a problem with the Sheriff's Department right now. We have a deputy that is threatening to sue because we filmed him. We're hoping he does. Uh, we're going to counter sue back. 
because the Supreme Court has told us not only is it our right to film any public official when they are in uniform, in public, performing their duties, but it's actually our obligation to do so for transparency. So the deputy, HPD, uh, a couple years ago, just had a big commotion over this. They were ended up getting taken to court over it. Uh, they were trying to cite people for uh, filming their officers while they're out in performance of duties out in public. One officer even broke a photographer's wrist using a, his collapsible baton, we knocking a, a phone out of his hand. So he ended up suing him, $135,000 he got from him for them breaking his wrist. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, like I said earlier, okay. I'd appreciate it if you'd not use my image. Okay. You can use my uniform, <laughs> but just blur, blur the top. Okay. Because it adds 10 pounds, right? <laughs> right? Okay. That's what they say. <laughs> you should know, you're a professional. <laughs> That's why I try to stay behind it. It keeps adding to me. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good evening. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're we're finished over here now. So, right. <laughs> Had a problem with my main camera. I bumped it. enforcement or a public official approaches us during an audit while they are performing their duties they are part of the film So if we have camera shy guards at the prisons that don't want to be filmed, do not approach anyone with a camera. If you approach someone that is standing there holding a camera in front of them, expect to be filmed. And I will not edit anyone out of the film. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and accept this one as a pass. So it was kind of questionable at first. I uh, spoke with a captain and then a lieutenant that came out. Uh, both of them were very nice. Uh, never.
that came up after him, he's the one that had a little more problem with what I was doing. Um, and his problem was, I crossed the street. I crossed from one side of the street to the other to get over onto the prison side. Um, mainly because what I wanted to shoot, I couldn't see. It was down a hill behind a little short wall there at the sidewalk. So, I said it was fine for me to shoot from the opposite side of the street, but once I crossed the street onto their side and was filming down into the prison is what they had a problem with. I can understand your point of view. Oh, sorry. I can understand your point of view. However, if I can see it, I can film it. Uh, that's plain and simple what the law is. What I would suggest if you don't want people shooting film the way I just did, where I'm shooting down into the uh, outside of the prison area, down from the sidewalk level, what I would suggest you do is that uh, short wall that is right next to the sidewalk, build it up another four foot. If you build it up high enough that I cannot see over into it, then I can't film down into it. But as long as it's only what, three feet high, when I'm standing on that sidewalk, I can look right over into it. As long as I can look, I can shoot. Excuse me, I can film. Don't like saying shoot <laughs> anywhere around a prison, a prison airport, anything like that. I don't shoot footage, I film. Okay, we're going to go ahead and shut down, get loaded up, and we'll call this one a wrap.